Meanwhile, Yoon Song Yeol has decided to dispatch a delegation to the U.S. next month. It will likely coordinate North Korea policies amid Pyongyang's provocations and strengthen the Seoul-Washington alliance. The draft of the incoming administration's organization is to be unveiled in early April. Yoon Song Yeol's policy coordination team to be dispatched to the U.S. is led by PPP representative Pak Jin and consists of five experts on Korea-U.S. relations. The delegation will travel to the U.S. next month to meet with U.S. government officials, lawmakers and think tank representatives and discuss policy cooperation. The decision to dispatch the delegation before Yoon's inauguration apparently stems from escalating tensions on the Korean peninsula caused by Pyongyang's ICBM launch and the growing need for a joint response by Seoul and Washington. The delegation will also likely discuss the upcoming summit between the leaders of South Korea and the U.S. The Presidential Transition Committee is also stepping up a government reshuffle. The Justice Ministry's report has been rescheduled for Tuesday following a delay over the Justice Minister's opposition to the President-elect's campaign pledges. The committee has postponed a meeting with the Corruption Investigation Office for high-ranking officials indefinitely. Meanwhile, the National Election Commission has turned down the committee's request to hold a meeting. The NEC said as an independent entity it would be unprecedented for it to have a meeting with the Presidential Transition Committee. The committee says it has received a report that the Board of Audit and Inspection had investigated the alleged mishandling of early voting by the National Election Commission.